Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. In the last video, we got some more ESOCorp rovers that have dropped down onto the planet. They're going to give us money to do it, but at the same time, if I got to just let it be for a little while, I don't have to worry about it too much. I do have two rovers. Well, one's missing right now, but I do have a rover down here. He's going to keep going ahead and scanning stuff for me. Let's see where we're at on the tech tree. We have everything available to research, but we're going working on the triple electric scrubbers. This can be really helpful in the late game to try to minimize that uh, use, uh, minimize the maintenance cost. I have designed forestation. It's going to help uh, newly grown forests, increasing chance for vistas and research sites. That's a breakthrough that we got from the last video. Uh, interplanetary projects is going to let us start importing greenhouse gases and capturing ice asteroids. And the carbonate process are very important to get our hands on. Is going to improve the Martian atmosphere by burning waste rock. Um, core heat can no, it's a magnet field generator and also the core heat convector that's on my wish list not going to go for it just yet that is going to increase the temperature of mars very quickly and allow for that's the wrong button it's going to allow for liquid water that much sooner liquid water we got to get the temperature up to 25 percent and getting rid of the cold waves happens at 50 percent so we got a ways to go on that front Go ahead. Uh, we do have the Omega Telescope under construction. I do have it as a higher priority right now. I'm uh, going to try and get that up and running as soon as possible. Uh, let's see here. Got 128, needs 66. Let's go ahead, load up a cargo rocket with another 100. That's 2 billion. It's going to leave me a little bit to work with here. Let's go to full speed. We got more waste rock starting to pile up, so getting that uh, carbonate processor is going to be very important down the line. We've got 90 machine parts ish. Uh, we're producing 13 per day, so that's very good. So we're actually starting to build up a surplus here, and slowly getting a surplus here as well. I do have some folks unemployed. Let's see what we can do about getting them to work. I could use the Hawking Institute overnight. Yeah, you know, let's do that. Just to uh, keep that up and running. The missing rover. The sensor log scrolls up on the screen as our sensor towers try to lock on the missing rover's emergency beacon. Finally a hit. From what we can tell from the cameras, the rover has suffered a critical malfunction. We have no idea how it ended up there. It is in sector... Looks like A1. Let's go ahead and pull a single drone. Not from there. No, you have a heavy load. You. You come over here. Once he's in play, we'll go ahead and move him. Yeah, finish him up with the key right here. Yeah, here we go. Anomaly analyzed. Got 1,200 research. Again, since I've unlocked everything, uh, we can go ahead and start popping these guys for the fast research. I'm going to save everything else. In fact, I should not have used that last one because the scrubber, I probably could have used that for other things. My Hawking Institute shut down because I'm an idiot. Hmm? Fascinating. Don't know what happened there. Yeah, so we have our electronics ready to go. Hmm, I thought this dust storm was almost over. Oh well. Go ahead, I'm going to turn you down to a standard. Go ahead and uh, drop him out. Let this guy fix him up real quick. There we go. Hey, 5,000. Oh, damn it. I should have waited. So 5,000 research. Um, it just kicked triple electric scrubbing up 30% just by doing that. Let's go back to the domes. You are running on a medium. Let's go ahead and pop you into play. I'm going to send you up here. Unfortunately, RC Explorer 1 Sector scan is... Ooh, hello. Found. Ugh, it's more research. I want to get another breakthrough. And with the Omega Telescope coming online, probably this video, 
there may be some cheats to doodle in. I do want to get this one. I want to get the ones I want, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and transport route metals. Do that. I want to dump off the metals here just so the drones can just up, 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 up. Get them going that much faster. Uh, drone hub is offline. Oh! One electronic will fix it. Resources are low. Mm, yeah. Oh, yes. Speaking of low resources, let's abate that. Seriously? That just happened. Not bad for a colony with 150 folks. Um, we're keeping everybody busy. We've got plenty of housing available, not a lot of jobs available. Um, of course, getting a drone to just go back and forth at this would be kind of cool. Okay, you... I'm going to turn off this route. Go here. I'm going to have them unload the electronics here just to get them offline. We're offloaded that much faster. And six, one, unload. There we go. Now, let's see what we got available here. We can do another SETI satellite for one and a half billion. Again, decreasing returns, but it does give us a. It's still giving us a profit. We can also do capture meteors. Not up for that. I'm thinking actually maybe we do the SETI satellite mission to get some more electronics to come down or some more resources. No! Oh my god. That could have gone so bad. <laughs> okay. So, top tip there. Don't do that. Research complete. No, hang on. Cancel the expedition. There we go. I'm gonna pull the rest of the electronics off. Now I'll send it on the mission. That way. The drones, yeah, no, we just have to unload two electronics instead of more. And plus, they're all here now, so this can just be shunted over that much faster. We got the turbo electric scrubbers done, working on the de uh, design for a station. Then I'm going to queue up the core heat convector. It's, again, wish list stuff, way, way, way down the line. Interesting. These drones are pulling the metals away from the Omega Telescope project. Hmm. Did not expect that to happen. Running a slight power deficit right now. Not too much to be concerned about. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and... No, definitely not what I want. Let's drop a couple dumping sites over here. Because that way, the waste rock that's being produced from this guy can go over here, and likewise from over here. Amazing, even though all those electronics are brought down, they immediately got swallowed up by the colony. Okay, just needing the fuel and the metals. Sector scan. Fuel's doing okay, it's not doing great, mind you. Go ahead and just put like 40 for that. And then the open farm that I built last weekend, that's going to stay offline just for the time being. Need to make sure that doesn't uh, do anything else. Unfortunately, now these sectors, since they're so far away from my ridge, it's going to be very hard for me to do anything with them. I am thinking, knowing what's coming with the mystery. And I did see a nice uh, clip on the Surviving Mars subreddit. The day I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Tuesday, actually. So I've got a little bit of a lead time on this one. Sorry, folks. I usually record this like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But I figured I'd get it done early. Um, what I've seen is with the ramp, um, if more of these rovers land on the low ground, I think I've got... 
Yeah. I've got three on the low ground, two on the high ground. If you repair, or if you... Spoilers. If you repair all of the ones on the high ground and then position them at the top of the ramp, then finish the ramp, all the low ground rovers will rush toward the ramp, and you can just pick them off as they come up the ramp. I love that idea. So, that's something I'm considering. Research complete. All right, gotten a little boost. And I'm not going to go for the next step until I get the telescope up and running. At this point, the mystery's paused. You don't need to kick this mystery any further until you're ready to do so, until you have a good enough colony and you're confident that, yeah, by doing this, I'm not going to get everybody killed. My um, Megadome. Let's go ahead. I'm going to build up another drone hub. That was odd. Let's go ahead, get the drone hub up and running. It will be able to cover this dome as well as the telescope site, and we'll get the drone swarm to take even more advantage of it. Yeah, we've got 3,000 power in the grid right now. I'm feeling confident with that. Um, all of my subsurface heaters are off, which is fine. And here, yeah, we're just waiting to load a bunch of stuff on board. Unfortunately, my drones have other things they need to work on. Oh, let's go ahead and build more of those. Now, up in GHG factory, it is consuming a little bit of fuel, but I'm going to go ahead and build a second one. Put it right there. It's going to take uh, concrete, metals, machine parts. It'll burn some fuel, and we'll go ahead and keep thicken or keep warming up the atmosphere a little bit. Now, my forestation plant, my goal with the open farm is to get myself to a point where I can do cover crops. Research complete. I gotta there get it to 30 degree temperature, 30% temperature, 15%. Resources are low. 15% water. Who's earth sick? You need to gamble. Okay. We only need to find something else for you to do. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Hey, a breakthrough! Perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, whoops. The water tank doesn't provide power. Top tip there. All right, so this hub is gonna continue working on, yep, they're bringing all the materials over needed for the telescope. And then for the telescope, let me double check how much power this takes. Hmm. I think it takes 80 power. So I may need to put another round of, uh, what are these guys called? Large turbines over here, or even down here. Granted, this guy is right in the way. <gasps> Oh, this is a good one. Buildings construct themselves slowly without drones. Nanites will seek out resources from nearby resource deposits. You are now at the top of the list. This will make this go faster as well as this. Um, essentially, the drones can now do whatever they need to do and not need to worry about this thing. I'm looking at this. i got to figure out how I can make this work. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into the power. So, it's going to be interfering with those. So, the solution is to actually put a row of standard turbines or a row of solar panels in here. Make this work. So, let's go ahead and see where that dust line is. Let's go ahead and do that. Just do, like, four like that. Gonna give us an opportunity to do uh, that stuff. And uh, now, there's only one drone, or one ESOCorp drone, still roaming around. So, eventually, it's going to break down on its own, and it'll go ahead and allow us to push the mystery through however we'd like. Okay, these guys, yeah, this one's automatically running on a heavy load because it's covering such a radius. Getting printed electronics eventually will go ahead and kick this up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off 
this dome or turn off the that night shift and I'm gonna put a shift to the electronics factory that way I can start getting more electronics produced per soul and granted once this mega dome comes online eventually it's not the highest priority right now once it comes online I can't put you know three uh, three electronics factories three machine parts factories three polymer factories and just populate this dome as I need to support the needs of the colonists yeah, you are... you're gonna get done really soon. Um, electronics, I've taken up as much as I can. But... I'm gonna pull up the next rocket. I'm pretty much gonna spend all the money I've got to get that up. Um, no, I didn't need to do it. Um, what, did I, what am I bringing up here? I'm bringing 80? Yeah, I'll actually have a little left to spare. And plus, that means the amount that I'm producing here, not going to be as much of an impact. Food is still doing great. I have 300 in storage. And we're just producing food every, what, five days? And it's enough to keep the colony fed. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Another key. Um, for this, I'm actually going to... I'm going to wait till core heat convector is being researched before I start popping those things. Because that's a lot of research that i got to burn through. These ones, with how much research I've got uh, naturally, I should be able to take care of that on my own. Okay. You are... There you go. Bye-bye. Now look, we're hitting soul 100 right now. There's probably an achievement I missed just by... Uh, not doing this, but I think we're in a good position, 100 days in. We've got 150 colonists. We've got five rovers on the ground, which may or may not be homicidal. Just spoilers. And we're going to have an Omega Telescope here in a matter of minutes. We're going to have the Omega Telescope this video. Now the question is, Am I going to do a little bit of cheatsy doodling Research to complete. get this done? Colonists are departing. <laughs> That's cute. You think that rocket's going to leave. I'm going to go nuke the ice caps of that thing, even though I can't. Yeah, that colonist isn't going anywhere. He's staying. Um, there are Earth -sick hang on. Colonists. Uh, I, just saw the, I saw the uh, the malfunction at the school. I'm like, well, wait a second, how does the school malfunction? You only get idiots if you don't have... If they didn't go to the school. But apparently, that's the thing. We got the turbines there. Um, I do need to get another hydroponic farm, actually, built. Um, or just a straight farm. You know what? Let's do that. Now, the reason for this is more... I want to put, uh, I want to start growing more seeds Mars side until I can get the temperature warm enough where I can grow them outside. All right, I'm gonna put actually put a little. I'm gonna do a pause here. I'm gonna cheat to doodle this. I want certain breakthroughs with the telescope, so there may be a few takes on getting this done. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. Milestone achieved. Breakthroughs discovered. Oh, okay. So, this is actually preset. You can't get different breakthroughs. Unfortunate. So, I've done this a few times now. We get Martian diet. All colonists consume less food, which is a new one. I haven't seen that one before. Printed electronics. That's the one I absolutely want. That's now going to be at the top. And giant crops. A little unfortunate, I didn't get the one I wanted. Extractor AI was the one I wanted. But printed electronics is massive for us because we can now uh, start building drones with metals instead of electronics. All right, so we have capture ice asteroids. Um, this may cause a Mars quake disaster. That just uh, shakes up the planet a little bit. Oh. Thought it was fueled. Okay, get out. Alright. 
So the telescope's going, yeah, it does consume 80 power, so we are running a deficit during the day, that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and polymer blade these guys to try to offset that a little bit. And yeah, I think we're gonna need to push this, I think we're need, gonna need to start pushing this mystery a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab this guy and take one drone from you. No wait, I don't need him yet. Go this way. RC Explorer 1 is going to head over here, and we're going to scan this guy to figure out what's going on. That's going to push this a little bit. Whoops. This is in a completely different direction. Then with this new dome coming online, maybe the um, artificial sun would be a good one to go for. Uh, we are getting... Eh, we're getting about... 5,600, 5,700 research per day. So we got the telescope giving us that boost. Genius Colonist giving us 2,400. Yeah, I think I need to bring up a little polymers next. This, I mean, this is good. Don't get me wrong. I have a lot of vacant job slots right now, though, because I think a lot of people are starting to retire out. And we're going to need a bunch more food coming down. I'm actually not concerned about the Martian diet breakthrough. If there was a colony that was dealing with a massive famine and they needed a bunch of food for me, yeah, I could send a bunch of my food over and not worry about it. Huh. We are still running a deficit at night. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and put down another row of turbines. Crap, hang on. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. But there's a man out there who has so much of it that he can't be touched. A quick scan of the mysterious vehicle was enough to encounter several design flaws that made it comically ill-equipped for Mars. However, the scan also revealed a poor attempt to disguise the true nature of the rovers. Despite having remained a mystery so far, the effort to hide its military origin could not hold up under a close examination. These rovers seem, without a doubt, weapons most probably tasked to use Mars as a testing ground, setting an extremely dangerous precedent among other obvious problems. By allowing us to analyze their vehicles, ESOCorp are also, without a doubt, issuing us a threat, and they seem comfortable enough with the notion that we feel threatened enough to comply and keep our findings a secret. For, as issue-riddled as these rovers are, they are still numerous and still pack enough firepower to disrupt the colony. Which is its hands full surviving Mars as it is. Sorry, I'm looking down at the same time as I'm reading this. You need to be focusing. As cynical as all this seems to be, we must take into consideration that we have no military capacity whatsoever, and choosing to challenge them might put the lives of everyone on Mars in danger. So, we have a few options available to us. This breaks all international, not to mention interplanetary treaties. We go and expose it. I say we call their bluff and make them buy our partnership. Or our mission is too great to jeopardize this way. We'll weather it out just like we would a regular dust storm. So, you, this one, you get, depending on what you do, you go three routes. You get the confrontation path, you get the blackmail path, or you get the ignorance path. And I'm actually trying to remember which one I did. Okay, so I'm reading through the wiki on what options are available. If we go the confrontation path, they attack. If you go the blackmail path, we get renegades. Uh, we do also get uh, more funding, rare metals, and a random breakthrough tech. And then, of course, we get the whistleblower. Um, ignorance pretty much just disables the storyline. That's it. Um, I've done the first one, and I think that's actually the more fun of the options. Don't, don't worry, the blackmail thing is meh. But at the same time, um, I actually kind of like the idea of them going to war with us for it. You know what? But at the same time, I get that. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go the blackmail route because I did the other one. And then let's see. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go the blackmail path. I haven't done this one before, so this is the first one I did the first time I played Europe a long, long time ago, and you can go into my channel and go get this uh, series of videos. But I'm going to do this one. This one just ends it, right? This, this cuts it right here. So let's go for this one. Let's actually go for that. So we're going to get renegades, which means I'm going to need security officers and security stations. That's going to be a new thing for me. And also, I can just go ahead and put these guys in a... Uh, what should I call it? Uh, just put them all in a dome, turn off the air, let them die. That's the other option, too. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put some scrubbers around this guy because I don't want this thing to ever need maintenance. It is going to cost me um, 20 electronics to make sure I need no more electronics in the future. That is also going to drain all of my electronics in the, in the process. But there since I'm going the blackmail pro uh, since I'm going the blackmail path, I'm not going to need to worry about it all too much. Okay, China's no longer offering that. Uh, let's you know what. Let's do a let's do a trade pal. Um, I am choosing to offer up concrete for metal. That's actually pretty good because I'm running a lot of metals right now. Nope, nobody offering that. Let's try food for metal. If I do machine parts for metal, I get a good amount. No, wow. All right, and machine parts for metals. Wow, nobody wanting to offer up metals right now. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the armor blade upgrades. So we got printed electronics. This is great. I can now build drones with electronics. I also don't have any metal. All of it's on the low ground. Um, another dome over here would make a lot of sense. Because you've got, let's see, 882, 790, 23, 24. Let's see. A mega trigon dome Space right here would be perfect. Anomaly Actually, it would take care of everything. Seriously, I got one way up here. Ooh, another breakthrough. Let's go for it. Don't want to put another dome down unless I can find this extractor AI I think. We do know we're going to get that random breakthrough. Storm approaching. Fancy. Okay, they're clearing out the dust. Go ahead and kick that up. I think I can actually get away doing two of these guys. Okay, yeah, just two of these guys. We'll keep it going indefinitely. Perfect. Yeah. That was odd. Uh, don't need to do any more water right now, but let's see what this breakthrough is going to get me. Sector scanned. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to click off that. Sleeper Joe. I missed that one. I don't know how I get back. Oh, right. You shouldn't be doing wheat. You should be doing uh, seed crops. Mm, no, you're willing to offer that? Close. Okay, that's the first time I've ever clicked away from one of these things. And I feel kind of dumb about it. My words. Let's go ahead and get this breakthrough. Get the Mars Gate seal the deal. And we'll close out this video. Breakthrough discovered. Gene selection. Doubles the chance a colonist will have or gain a rare trait. That's good. We've received a message from Isocorp. State your terms. Never gotten a response that fast before. Most likely they thought we'd just take insult lying down, not to mention the risk. I'm pretty sure we'll be on the wrong side of history if this gets out. We are going to be on the wrong side of history for this. The strong get what they want. Let's get something out of it. Oh! Oh, shit. That one I have not seen in a long time. There's gene selection, by the way. Uncovers new anomalies, alien artifacts, which provide tech reduction costs to all fields when scanned. So, this, I think it goes as much as 20 or 30% in addition to what I already have reduction-wise. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put that at the top of the list. 
of course, we're going to we're going to get in a crap load of trouble for this, but we're not going to deal with that in this video. For now, um, we've got our Omega Telescope. We're blackmailing Isocorp, which is going to blow up in our faces. And I'm going to have to put a dome down here to do more mining, which is totally fine. Right. We need uh, electronics right now. Let's go ahead and turn that shift off. Let's get these guys working during the day. For now, though, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.